Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Zquerro and today we are going to be answering a question I found in the ROS answers forum, which is this one and it says how to edit uh, the map P PBM built by gmapping package. So I'm going to try to show an example to answer this question. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, yes, let's start with the video. So, as I've said, let me close this first. Okay, so as I've said, we will be answering this question. And this user, uh, he asks how to edit the map PBM. This is PGM, I guess he has uh, a typo here, but the format is .pgm, built by gmapping package. He says, hello world, I need to edit the map that built uh, by gmapping package. Is there any software that supports this format? Almost all software open this format, but they don't save changes under this format. Do you have any suggestion? Okay, so we are going to try to show how to do this in a simple project. So I'm going to use RDS for this and I have a project here, save it, which I'm going to open it. And, okay, then, yeah, let's open a shell. I'm going to open an IDE as well. And as you can see here, I have already uh, some packages for navigating a Summit robot. So I'm going to start here my Summit Excel simulation. Let's open it right here. And here I have some packages for path planning, mapping, localization of the Summit robot. And I have here in the Summit mapping package, I have already a couple of maps created from the environment. So whenever you create a map with gmapping and you save it, it will generate these two files, the pgm file and the yalm file, yes. And the YAM file basically contains some uh, metadata information about the map, like resolution, origin, which is the name of the PGM file that it's going to open, uh, etc. And the PGM file is basically the, the image, yes? It's a grayscale image based on, on, on white colors, black colors, uh, gray colors. I'm going to open it now to show you. So yeah, here I have my simulation, my summit simulation. And let me launch for a moment the move base node. So my summit path planning, move base dot launch. I'm going to launch as well Irvis in order to visualize uh, everything. So let's run Irvis, Irvis. And let's open finally a graphical tools window. There we are. I'm going to open it in a new window to visualize it better. There we are. Then let me load quickly a configuration file I have here. And um, I think it's here. Yeah, there we are. Discard. Okay. So here I have basically, let me remove this. Here I have my map. This is the PGM. This is how the PGM looks. This is the map of my environment, as you can see. Yes, this environment has basically two rooms here, which are this one and this one. And yeah, this is a map I have created from this environment. And basically what I'm going to do now is to navigate to one point around here, let's say. So I'm going to 
sent a 2D nav ghoul, which is uh, around here. And as you can see, my robot starts navigating there. It has calculated the path to go there. And in the simulation also, we have our summit robot going there, which is around here, the goal. And yeah, this is a regular navigation process. I mean, nothing new here. We are using the map. We are sending a goal to the move base node. And uh, the move base node calculates the path using the cost maps. This, this one we are seeing here is the global cost map. And it reaches the goal. Yes, so, well, here it's rotating a little bit to find the exit position, but yeah, this is the basic uh, behavior of path planning in ROS. So now what we are going to do, yeah, there it has reached the goal. Great, so now what we are going to do is to download this PGM file. Let me download it here very quickly. There we are. And now I'm going to open this file. Let's come here. Here I have it. So I'm going to open this file with GIMP, which is an image editor that uh, you can use with many, many OSs. And in my case, I'm, I'm using uh, OS X. I'm working with a MacBook. So yeah, let's open this GIMP. And this allows me to open PGM files, which is what I, I'm looking for right now. And what we're going to do is to basically edit this map manually so that the behavior of my navigation system changes. Yes, then let's open this. I'm going to make this map a little bit bigger. There we are, great. So basically, as you can see, we have this, uh, the black color indicates completely occupied spaces. So basically spaces where there are obstacles, where the robot cannot pass through. Yes, this is what is represented by the black color. The white color indicates completely free space. So spaces where the robot can freely navigate. And then this, uh, gr the gray color indicates unknown space. So it doesn't know what there is here. So basically what we want to do, what we are going to do now is to add here something in black color so that it represents, so that the navigation si system uh, reads this as an obstacle. I'm going to add a virtual, an imaginary, let's say, wall here. So let me choose here my pencil to draw. Let's do this a little bit smaller. There we are. Then here, I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw a wall here. There we have. Yes? So, yeah, this is uh, super simple. As you can see, I have uh, just uh, draw a black line here like if, if there was a wall blocking here which in reality there isn't yes but I am adding it manually so now I'm going to save this I will need to export it there we are exam up uh, edited let's do it like this Let's export it, okay. Great, so now let's close this. And I should have here my exam map edited file, which if I open it, I have this, uh, the same map I had before, but with this black wall here. Yes, so let's, upload my new map here so I'm going to come here and upload a local file select files 
and I'm going to upload my exam map edited. There we are. Excellent. And now let's uh, rename this file. So I'm going to name my edited map as exam map so that it uses this one. And I'm going to launch again the navigation system to see what happens. Okay, so I had here, let's close everything and let's relaunch it using my new map that I have manually edited, modified. So let's open again Ervis. There we are. Let's open the configuration file. Great. And as you can see, here a new wall has appeared, which wasn't existing before. Yes, so now my navigation system understands that here there is a wall. So if I try to send a goal here, he won't be able to go using the same path as he used it before. Let's check this. So now I'm going to send again a goal around here, which is where I sent it uh, previously. But now I have a new wall that I have added here, yes? So let's send the goal here. And as you can see, it is not allowed anymore to go in this direction, yeah? So now it will need to go all the way around, yes? So as you can see here, it's trying to turn and it will have to go this way, yes, to its goal. Let's... <clears throat> okay, it wasn't... Okay, let's do one thing. Because the robot was in the other position, so it got a little bit lost. Let's launch again the simulation. Okay, so let's open again RVs while the simulation is loading. There we are. Let's load our config file. Great, so now I cannot see anything because I don't have the move base node launched yet. So let's go to launch the move base node. That's okay, I have my simulation loaded already. Great. Okay, let's show this. Now let's launch the move base node. So as you can see in the simulation, in reality, I don't have anything here. Yes, I don't have a wall here, but in my map, I detect a wall here because I have added it uh, manually using my image editor. Yes, so for the navigation system, this file is what uh, it's important. Yes, it doesn't matter that here in the simulation, I don't have anything here because in the map he's reading that here there is a wall yes so as i was saying let's try to send a goal around here again and let's see what happens so let's send a goal around here and as you can see it has to go all the way around onto that position. Yeah, so it's turning and it will have to go all this way because he, the navigation system, has uh, detected that here there is a wall so it cannot go this way. Yes, uh, so yeah, that was all for the video of today. 
I hope you have liked it and you've learned uh, a little bit at least of how to edit manually these maps in order to modify the behavior of your navigation systems. And in the description of the video, uh, I will put a link to a complete course about ROS navigation, where you will be able to understand a little bit better how all this navigation process works with the cost maps, with uh, creating the process of creating a map, also editing it. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye!